Hi, here is Gustavo Silveira from Musical Nerd or the Nerd Musician. This is my first tutorial in English, uh, at least in this website, because uh, I've been doing tutorials in Portuguese because I'm Brazilian, but I'm, I'll be moving to the USA next month and I'll be there for at least two years. So uh, I'll do my tutorials in English uh, right now. So, and I hope I do some Portuguese subtitles for the for the tutorials, of course. Uh, in my last tutorial, I I teach you how to make the Arduino Mega or the Arduino Uno that has the 16U2. U2? Yeah, the 16U2 microprocessor that handles the USB communication into a MIDI class compliant USB device so you can make your MIDI controllers with the Arduino Uno or Mega uh, without needing to use the serial to MIDI converters like the hairless MIDI so in this tutorial I'll teach you how to use the Arduino Micro and the Arduino Pro Micro and make them uh, act as a real MIDI class compliant USB device that can be uh, recognized like in software like Ableton Live, uh, Pro Tools, Tractor without any other software like the hairless MIDI. So why those two? Those two boards and also the Leonardo board has this microprocessor that has USB capabilities. So with this one, you need to use this microprocessor for the USB and this one to the sketches to, to process all the... Like it's the computer of the, the Arduino. But with this microprocessor, mic this microcontroller, you can uh, make all the processing with, the, the, with your sketch and make all the USB things here. So you just need one microcontroller. And so the both and uh, Arduino Leonardo can act as uh, HID devices like a, like a keyboard or a mouse and but natively it cannot act as a MIDI USB device. You need to upload another uh, I don't know it's a firmware or but like you you'd need to upload another board to the Arduino IDE. We will be using the same board, but it will be seen as another board by the Arduino IDE. So, when you come here in Tools and you go to Board, you see all those boards here, right? That, that are natively uh, recognized by the Arduino IDE. And you have the Arduino Micro here. But this Arduino Micro here cannot be recognized as a MIDI USB device. You will need to download another library so you can uh, make it a MIDI controller. So the library is the R-Core library and you can download it in the link below. Come here and click clone or download. And here you have all the informations. This tutorial is not about all you can do with this library, but just give you the, the first steps so you can go uh, in your own, okay? So you have to download this library. They teach you how to, to install here. So I'm on, a, uh, I'm on my Mac, so I have to do this manually, that is copy the, the library to the hardware folder, folder of the Arduino. So how do we do that? Here's my file that I just downloaded. This is the R Core Master. You have to come here on Hardware, Copy, go to Documents, or where your Arduino sketches are. Go to Arduino, and you have to create a hardware folder if you don't already have it. Come here and paste it. Okay, here 
uh, once you paste it, you just rename it to R core. Oops. No, I have to delete this here. So here we have the AVR and SAM. Okay. Once you have that, you already be able to choose the, the boards there on your Arduino IDE. But uh, in the beginning, it didn't work for me, and I'm using and I was using the the latest the latest uh, IDE version. So I saw in the here in the kind of the tutorial that they only tested in the 1.5.7 version of the IDE. So what they did, I was I went there to the Arduino website. I uh, went to download. So you have to come here in uh, previous releases and click here previous previous version of the current release and look for the 1.5.7 and download it. Okay. Once you do that, you will have in your boards all the R core Arduino AVR boards. So even if you are uh, using the Arduino Micro or Pro Micro, you can choose here Arduino Micro. I tested with both and it just work. So okay. Uh, so uh, I, I was used to to uh, to use the MIDI library, but I, let me see if I have one here. Here, I was using this library that I that where you have to include MIDI and type this, and for work with the library you have to to do this MIDI dot send not o send not own or uh, send control change. But with this library is different. So here they have an example. You can see that we don't need to initialize any any library here. And no serial communication, no MIDI begin, and nothing. But we need to do something special uh, in this that using this MIDI USB MIDI USB function. I'll not get uh, get into details here, but I'll just show you how it's uh, how it's done. So this is the example from the R core library. Here we have three functions: one for note on, one for note off, and one for control change. And you can see here that in the void setup, we don't have any any serial communication or any anything. Everything is happening here. In the uh, in the the void loop, so actually this is not the not the example from the website. I just made some some changes. I'm making a loop where each time of the loop it will uh, sum one to the note that is being outputted by the the Arduino. So let's see what we have in the in the loop. For us to send note on a note on, we need to type note on, and the first argument is the channel, remembering that we have channels from 1 to 16 in MIDI, but here always is uh, the number minus 1, so the channel 1 actually is the number 0 here. And the second argument is the note, here is 48 plus 0 and plus 1, plus 2, plus, plus 3, until plus 24. So the second argument is the note, and the third argument is the velocity, 64. After you do that, it saves this uh, information here, and you have to type midusb dot flush. This will send the, the MIDI notes out of your Arduino and a delay and here note off is the same thing first argument 
is the the MIDI channel, the note, and the velocity. Actually, here the velocity doesn't matter. So what if we wanted to use control change? We can see here in the function that we call control change, and the first is the channel, like here, after the control, the MIDI CC, and, act, and uh, the last one, the value. So channel, the MIDI CC, and the value. So here, uh, just don't forget to choose your, your board there, the Arduino Micro here in the R core, and your, uh, your port here. So let's upload. Compiling, uploading, and, and, and it was not possible to find the board. So I am having this problem and I don't know uh, exactly why but I'll try to do I'll try to do this go in here and changing the port so this is acting as as the MIDI USB device and the USB uh, communication things here so sometimes it just get confused and you can't uh, upload the sketch and be the MIDI device at the, at the same time so sometimes you just need to come here and change the, the port also always in the USB mode so you see that now it's uploaded so you can see here that I don't have any uh, serial to MIDI converter so I'm, uh, I'll come here to the Ableton Live go to preferences MIDI and check this here you see the Arduino micro here I guess you never uh, never seen the Arduino here in your MIDI preferences now it shows here just select on on track and you have your Arduino acting as a true MIDI class compliant USB device so just let's do like 30 38 and make it faster just let's see uh, let me see if it will work or if I will have to change the port again if it's a uh, let's say a bug that will always happen or just sometimes so loading and it was not possible so let's try to change the port loading 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 and load <laughs> So that's it folks, uh, now you know that you can use your Arduino Micro and Arduino Pro Micro and it will do the same thing as the Tinsy board. So a lot of you I, I guess know the, the Tinsy board and already have one or I don't know, is uh, thinking about, about getting one. I don't have any Tinsy board, they are like very good boards, but with the Arduino Micro and the Arduino Pro Micro you can uh, have the same uh, capabilities but with the price that's much cheaper so I guess I paid like less than four dollars for this this Arduino Pro Micro Micro and uh, AliExpress and like four and something now maybe it's a little bit uh, more expensive but uh, I'm sure that's much cheaper than a Tinsy board and now you can have like the same capabilities you just choose the R core board and it's a MIDI class compliant USB device so if you liked the video please give a give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel uh, sorry if I made some mistakes in English I just decided 
couple minutes ago that I would be, that I would be doing this uh, tutorial in English. So I would be pleased to see the projects that you can do using the the Arduino Micro and Pro Micro boards. And any doubt, just ask me. So uh, be safe and bye.